the seed for wanting to become an astronaut was planted way back when I was, you know, uh, waist high to what I am now. Uh, I grew up in western Kansas and so we had beautiful night skies full of stars and so it was on, on many a night I'd stare up there and just imagine the possibilities. But I think it really became something that was tangible and something that I thought I could pursue once I got into the Air Force. Uh, following graduation from the Air Force Academy I got involved in a little bit of flight test and the concept of going out there and discovering new things and trying out and testing things that hadn't been been done before uh, that you weren't exactly sure what the answer was going to be is something that I really gravitated toward and I saw becoming an astronaut as an extension of that. Testing is a team sport and it's not just the test pilot, it's not just a, a, a test conductor in a control room, but there are uh, there are you know, tens if not hundreds of people involved in, in test programs and all of you are trying to work together to get something done. Uh, and so I think that you receive a lot of experience in how to work successfully in a team uh, going down the path of test pilot uh, in the military. It's something that makes you competitive for becoming an astronaut. Growing up my heroes were my parents. Uh, they, they taught me uh, right and wrong they helped shape me into who I, who I am today. Uh, they gave me the confidence to, to dream big and chase those dreams. Following high school, I went to the Air Force Academy uh, and majored in astronautical engineering there. Then I went to graduate school following the Air Force Academy. It was my first assignment in the Air Force. I uh, went to MIT and was in Course 16, the aeronautics, aer aeronautics and astronautics department out there. Um, and so my training is, is primarily in aerospace engineering. I like to uh, take things apart, figure out how, how they work, put them back together, see if I can't make them do something they haven't done before. The things that I dreamed about doing, I'm, I'm finally doing. So there's a, lot of, you know, there's a lot of moments where I'm pinching myself saying, is this really happening? Uh, but the training's been great. Um, getting to fly in T-38s and then turning around the next day and doing a, a training dive in the neutral buoyancy lab, putting on a spacesuit and doing a, a practice spacewalk is, is, they're very surreal moments. You don't wake up one magical morning and decide, I'm going to do it and I'm going to become an astronaut and then it happens a day later. It's a lot of concerted uh, uh, commitment and it's a lot of small decisions that kind of build toward getting you to go in the right direction and there's a lot that's left up to fate uh, so you have to try but you can't be afraid to fail I tried to, to I applied three times uh, was rejected twice um, if you give up on the first the first hint of failure then you're never going to accomplish what you want to accomplish and that's that's in, it doesn't have to be to become an astronaut, anything in life. Uh, you've got to be committed to achieving what you want and then figuring out how to make it happen. 